Hey, what you doing here? I don't know. I think you're kind of cute. What? Me? Cute? Yeah. You, you want to go for a walk? Sounds good to me. Can, can I hold your hand? Oh, okay. What's up, you guys? Welcome back to Big Up Scotty. We're gonna look at the tallest modular you've ever seen. I'm just kidding, man. What's up, you guys? Welcome back to Big Up Scotty. I'm Scotty Hoy. You're watching Bemis, where every brick is welcome. Keep on bricking. So let's continue Zing Bao's Europa modulars. If you haven't, go watch the other two. You'll know all about it. You know that the manual is just fine. This is the third one. I got one more left. A corner one to do there. Then I'm done with this freaking. I'm just kidding. These are great sets, so so far so good. And this one is the toy store. The manual, of course, is very nice. Let's jump into this review right now. So this is XP01010 Toy Shop 3623 pieces. This set also comes with a bunch of figures or dolls as they call them. And we're not interested in that. Forget that. But it is nice that it comes with a bunch of accessories. You get plenty of plates and knives, cupcakes. Ooh. If my voice sounds a little stuffy, yeah, I was almost about to sneeze there for a second. The weather here in Hong Kong has changed. We're in springtime mode already. It feels like it's summertime, man. It's so freaking hot. It's gloomy outside today. And yeah, my nose is just all over the place. So you get to watch me suffer. What I like about Jingbao so far is with this series, is each building has their unique style. So you got a corner building, you got a weird building, you got a grocery store that's not a grocery store. What I mean is shape and size. This one is one of those ones where it's like the original pet store from Lego that it splits off like that. So you got two modulars and one more value for your money. At least that's how we like to think, right? So we'll look at these one by one. I'm gonna split them apart. We'll look at this part first, which is what I built first. So we're gonna slide this one out of the way. Bye-bye, go see you later, Sakura. Overall, the feel vibe, I, I do like the look of it. I think it's that baby blue and the pink. It's just kind of throwing me off, you know, the colors. So this is nice and skinny without the other building. Is that a good or bad thing that you get two buildings in one? But this is more of the pastel. Got a little bit of blues, pinks. When I first built this, I was like, oh, the pastel kind of feels cheap. You know, I remember I did the Sluban home rooms. I think those will probably fit in here pretty nicely. It actually looked pretty okay like this. When I was building, I was like, ah, uh, gosh, it's not my favorite front. Oh, hey, on camera, it looks pretty nice. It has a lot of little chinklets here and there in the front, so it looks very busy. No stickers on the set except for one, which is a sticker for a mirror reflection. And I had it, oh, there, here it is. I found it, I finally found it. And it's, they stick this right in the first page in the corner. It's like really hard to find. So if you have a toy store, don't forget the mirror. It's somewhere in your book or a reflective sticker. Okay, don't lose that, Scotty. It's tiled on the front there. I like little flowers on the side. And that looks like a little mailbox. At least I think this is a mailbox. It might be a birdhouse, who knows? Sometimes the flowers might want to pop off. This one's pretty tight in there, so it's okay. And there's a quality good sign right there, a little bear on it. You know, you could always flip it around and now it's a chair. There. Sit back and relax. You got a doll shop that has like animal paw prints and a bone there. Are you sure this is a toy shop, not a pet store? Okay. I like the display here and the transparent pieces here that looks like it's dropping down. That's a nice variation right there. And you got the pastel blue door there. All the pastel colors are going to come to life on the set. Continuing up, you got some lights there and you got a little like three pieces of awning there. And this, these look kind of like bizarre. It feels like more should go there or something should be covered up. I don't, I don't know. Well, whoever designed this, that was your call. That's up to you. It's okay, what do you guys think? Is that different or what? And then you come to the middle section here with the brick wall. I like the colors. I actually like the flowers and the awning, but it actually does break up away from the pastel. Thank goodness. There's the doll shop sign. Yay, prints. And the printing is on both sides. Then you got the rooftop here. It's very simple in design. You know, you just got these little pieces there, whatever they're called. You can hang things from it if you wanted to. But when I'm shooting the review for this and I'm looking at the details on the inside, I'm kind of like, 
forgiving it now. Like it, it's it's better. It's not as bad as I think. We we'll come to the side here. There's nothing there. It's all plain. Very bricky looking. Your mounts down below for your other modular. Plain middle section. It's all in white. And you come to the top, which has a little bit of a black outline to it. That's it for the side. In the back side, it only has a single door. Some boxes here. Very plain. It almost looks like a little Mario level there. Super Mario. Boing, 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 boing. Da -da 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 -da. Is it me? Oh, those windows on the side look really high up. Kind of high, huh? Very simple awning that sticks out here and a little light right there. And the middle section is also very minimal. It's just, just small windows right there. So yeah, a little bit plain, but don't forget you're getting to these buildings, right? So kind of makes up for being plain on the back. The rooftop looks identical to the front, except the bottom doesn't have the little things to hang pieces there. Okay, I'll cut them some slack, man. We got so many buildings with intricate designs. Sometimes it's okay to be a little less on the back. You're never gonna see that anyway. Then you got this side, which mirrors the other side. Nothing there. Ah, oh, welcome to the first floor. And you know what? Okay, it's not all that bad, but it's really hard to get your hands in there for sure. Staircase is blocking. You're like, oh, I can't get in there. The front display kind of sticks out. And this is a very small build. So kind of a shame. I can't really get in there. That's a lot of little things inside though. But first we got to talk about this color. It looks like a Victoria's Secret shop. How would I know that? Hey man. And you know when you see this color pink and the purple, it's what it looks like, man. So you could technically turn this into a, a lingerie shop. We'll start with the display window. You got a rabbit, because rabbits are cool. Behind the rabbit, you got a penguin. And in the corner there, you have another cabinet, which is very loose, by the way. No matter how I put it down, the stud just didn't quite fit for me. Maybe you want to put another stud underneath, but it is a very basic cabinet there. I have no idea what these items are supposed to be. Even the Chihuahua doesn't know, huh? Chihuahua looks cute. It is a Chihuahua, right? Lego have this one? Busted! You see, without the cabinet there, it looks like Victoria's Secret. And there's a little gap there, there's no tile. Did I forget to put a piece of tile there? Probably. I think they've just, because this is here, it blocked it so you don't really see it. So maybe they didn't need to put one there. Now I built this a while ago and taking a break and coming back to it now, it's not as bad as I thought it was. When I was building it, I'm like, I don't know if I like the colors, man. It's kind of all over the place. But when I'm doing all the detailed shots and then you guys see it, it's, it's, it's okay, it's not crazy. So when you come in the door, you got this very narrow hallway. You do have a shelf on this side. Look at all those products. I like the variety and the accessories that this comes with. You got some boxes along the top here. You got like a pterodactyl dinosaur, a micro figure there. Wait, this is micro. This is mini, mini. I, I forgot. I think some of the animals were in different parts of the shelf, but they did not fit. You'll want to rearrange that and move them around. It's just what I did. Okay. Underneath those figures, you got a couple more figures with another chihuahua down there. And then underneath that, you got another shelf, the chicken, the Darth Vader little figure in a box on this side, underneath the boxes, there's a doggy and a turtle. I'm telling you, man, it's more like a pet store. Underneath that, you got what looks like a cat. What is that down there? I see something in between the cat and the figure. I gotta get the camera closer and see it sucks. I can't get my fingers in there now. I'll pry off the walls to figure out what that is. On the bottom shelf besides that cat was actually a fish. This went somewhere. I hope it belonged in the set. But anyway, yeah, I don't know what the fish is doing in there. Cat is pretty smart. On the back here, you got another shelf with the monkey and a rabbit on top. On this side, you got some windows there. Let's go to the display room. That's kind of a weird idea. They could have just walled that off. And another chihuahua sitting there at the cash register. There are a couple cabinets behind the counter. Nothing inside of them. Then you got the spiral staircase that goes to the second floor. At least it's built pretty good. However, some parts of it does feel like it's not really complete. Like it looks like it's missing some railings right there. You know, I kind of like how this is protruding out a little bit here. It gives it a little bit more depth. That was kind of cool. You know, if they've only just pushed this like display piece all the way up to here, you would have had more room in there. So you come up to the second floor and oh, it's small. That's kind of a letdown. The first one was like so much stuff there. Second floor is more like where they stock the inventory. Kind of like my office. At least it's all tiled and they have this giant cabinet that goes across the side wall. It's an illusion, man. It doesn't open up or anything. The bottom ones do. There's nothing inside of them. 
this is probably where they stock all the goodies the limited edition stuff that they don't want to sell to you very colorful boxes along the top that's for sure got some railings there a couple more boxes here on the side there's like a ladder piece there i'm not quite sure what that's supposed to be maybe another type of cabinet and look at that more prints you know if anything you might just want to buy the set just for the prints because they're so cute the teddy bear there the lion in the middle and the duck on the right a couple of chairs here very simple just throwing on some bricks but if it works it works you sit there and i don't know what you do look out the window smell the flowers pack more boxes which is what i'm doing every other day that's it man that's like really kind of small i guess when you're doing two modulars in one it's going to be really small if you do this style so in this case less is more is that too small they come to the rooftop guess what it's hollow man nothing inside of this thing wasted space actually yeah if i open this up here pry it off i'll pry it off like that empty empty man kind of wish it just had a little bit of something there did, did i screw it up in the back there that looks weird but anyway yeah you probably could have put a little bit more things in there and open it up but you know maybe i'm too spoiled by seeing you now because everything opens up and it's so easy to reach inside and i put little details in there whereas this one is everything's just closed off like a standard modular it's hard to play with man it's hard to get in there that is the good thing about this though it's so secure yeah when you put the rooftop back on you gotta make sure you line it up as the book shows i think it's here and i don't want to put it too forward or stick out a little bit more there you know what put it however you want man you can even flip this thing backwards probably still fit just like like so yeah see better like that before we look at the second building here's another look at them together together wherever da, 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 da. together forever da, 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 da. if i put it here to the side so you can pick which side you want to put it on Oh, it's pretty tall, yeah? Look at this one. Hoo hmm. I'm not sure about the color of this alone. That's a weird color combination, man. It's kind of like an ew, yellowy color. Okay, it's not, I'm just, you know, I'm just really nitpicking at this thing. Still pretty fun to put together. Really solid. It's not using a lot of crazy designs, which is good. But it's the color of this, you know? I was talking about so many times. It's like someone peed on the bricks and it's gotten stained and I can't remove it. It's not supposed to be white. So we're sitting there going, these are so dirty, Scotty. You know, I think that's the, the color choice that they used on those bricks. The funny thing is when it's together with the pink, it kind of like fades away a little bit. But on its own like this, if you bought this, would you buy this just alone, just by seeing this? You would? I don't know, I'd look at it going But then if I go like <laughs> yeah. So they have to kind of go hand in hand, I think. This side of the wall is nothing again. When you see these little patterns and pieces are being used on the inside, just like this side. Yeah, that's crazy looking though. You know, that's staircase, right? It's kind of obvious. Then we come to the back side. You know what though, the staircase, the rails here, they're super low, man. Dangerous, you can fall over so easy on that. It could have been higher. But at least everything's like secure. Nothing's gonna pop off, which is great. And you got some trash cans lined up down there. Nice and colorful. And I like how there's like a real big window right here. No door, but it's kind of cool. Different vibe. Second floor just has a door that goes into the room. Fan right there. You know, I can almost bet you if I were to flip this thing upside down, nothing's gonna fall off because everything's pretty secure in there. Do you need more evidence? that there are loose pieces in this set. You can build it like this. That would kind of cool, man. Yo, this one's much taller. Yay, that means they got more stuff inside. Or do they? Ooh, I don't know about the colors, man. I'm kind of thrown off a little bit by it. I don't know what combination it is or how I feel. So even though it's the same type of flooring, the setup is totally different. Nice staircase going up. You do have some flowers there, but they're a different design. Problem is, is if you look under here, it's supposed to like mount like so. But once you push it 
onto over here. Yeah, it has to be pushed in a little bit. So once you put it here, it'll start to get a little bit loose. Yeah, the plant is now loose. So you had to sacrifice. You center it and make the flower loose, or do you put it on the edge just a little bit, maybe like on the studs? on the edge here on the studs and then you can kind of push it in a little bit so hold in better you know maybe that looks a little bit better simple street lamp right there behind the lamppost you got a little bit of bricks along the bottom i like that color and a limited edition sign right there it's got some limited edition toys inside yes my kind of store this might be a scotty problem all right the window here display which i like is not quite straight on mine i remember i straightened it out and something wasn't fitting right. I think it was hitting the table that's on the inside. So I had to pull it out and I don't know. But you know what? It kind of looks okay like this, the way it's protruding out. It's not perfectly straight, but it has a nice look to it. For you OCD guys, I hope that doesn't bother you too much. It doesn't bother me. I kind of I like that look. You got a sign there, time? Open from 10.30 to 5.30. You know, you're putting a blue parrot with this red beak against this weird yellow color. Yeah, it doesn't really fit well to me. It looks kind of cheap. The birds gotta go. You know what else gotta go? Those red croissants. Why are they using those for? See, the color thing is throwing me off, man. It's like, oh, nasty red, nasty yellow. I do like the trans clear bricks on the inside there. It pops out a little bit. At least that's nice. But yeah, now looking at this on the camera, I'm like, oh, I don't know if I like the color of the front there or these little dark greens. But let's see how the other floors fair right we come up to the second floor happy baby oh yeah cute little sign with a cute little wooden ducky on the side kind of simple in terms of design you know you just slapping on pieces very easily there you'll get to that in no time so you're walking on in into this luxurious toy collector store ah this is more like it it's got tiles there it's pretty simple how they set that up and on the side of the wall, you've got some cars or those skates. Each one will cost you a thousand dollars. Then next to that, you got the cash register, some money on the counter there. And behind that, a cabinet there, it's pretty thin. Drawers can't open. It's got more little trinkets there, more little figures, cups, and a little picture there of a car, a wind up toy car. Ah, this is where the fun part is. You know what? I'm actually pretty overall happy with the colors. I think it's pretty okay on this floor. I love the little micro city that they have there. Looks like it even has like the racetrack right there. It even has a little bit of greenery and a tiny little bit of water in there. And even a mountain. Sometimes it's not about the size. See, even that's so small, it still looks really cool. And what's good about this floor is there's plenty of room to put your hands inside. And you go, yeah, I can play around with it. Look at this wall right here. A little bit colorful there. Even more collectible cars. I like the variety of colors there for the skates or cars in this case. Now it's time to look at the limited edition set. This is from the back side. And here's a closer look at the display model from the front, which is really cool. Just like a little city right there. I like that quite a lot. Makes me want to buy this little tiny set. And just to show you the window right there, you can see the table's really flushed up against it. So I had to move the pieces forward. That's why the window wasn't quite straight. Maybe you can fix that or you know, I think the instructions show the window even in further, but it's blocked by the table. So it looks fine like this to me. There you go. Took it out for you guys. That's so cool. A little house right there. Mountain top, more trees, cars racing around the block. A nice little micro display. I like it. And there are some stools by that big paneled window. And that's the first floor. Very cool. So the good thing about putting the staircase on the outside, that you got more room on the inside. Yeah, good idea. Just look at the second floor. So that's the door from the staircase. You open it up and you can walk inside. This is a staircase to the third floor. Boy, that is so weird how they designed that. They're literally just sticking tiles into the wall. It's certainly secure. It just kind of swivels a little bit, left to right. Man, that looks so dangerous. I'm not even quite sure what that's supposed to be behind the staircase. Another stool. On this side, it looks like a cabinet there. Crazy design. So they just went from a toy shop to a very modern looking apartment. Got a little plant right there in the corner and you come into this area and it's a little dining area. It's kind of an interesting take. So the chairs are simple. The table is very simple. This lamp right here, 
yeah the way they do this light thing it's kind of out of place it doesn't look like a light it looks very oriental it looks like a, something you would see in a chinese restaurant i would have preferred something else a little bit different if they're going for modern over here you got the refrigerator it doesn't open it's just a display piece right there all right so then we come into the kitchen it's very simple stuff here oven sink looks like one of the burners are on empty cabinets along the bottom and top you know i think i would have preferred it to be a toy shop all the way through why do we need another apartment then we come to this door here which leads to the bathroom so while there is a little bit of space here there's not much space here oh it's crammed you get your hand in there but at least you got a bathroom inside here you've got a sink there a mirror Let's see if i can put the sticker on right there Oh, terrible job. There you go. And then you got the toilet right there. The toilet paper roll right next to it. It's kind of low, but at least you got ventilation and a little bit of light that goes inside. Now this last floor is interesting. Underneath, see right there, you see that? There's these two little pieces. They actually tell you to put those there. I don't know what for. To be secure when it sits on top? I, I really don't know. Maybe one of you guys can help me figure that out. It's kind of in the way and I don't think you really need it. But anyway, this is the last floor. Take the rooftop off and oh, boy oh boy. Well, if you have a living space in the bathroom downstairs, this can only mean that you have to have a bedroom upstairs. And ouch, the big gap right there. There's nothing there. So you only get this much of a room there. Hmm. But they did tile it, the whole thing. You got a bookshelf there. We've seen plenty of those. Yeah, the computer desk there. You see, there's a perfect example of pure white on this grimy looking, pee looking brick. I'm assuming that's actually the computer. Look, it's Windows 95. With Edie Brickell playing in the background. Good time, bad time, give me some of that. You feeling old yet? I like how the bed's kind of messy looking. It's not perfect. I don't know if that will drive some of you OCD guys nuts. But hey, that's kind of like what my bed looks like. And that's my friends is it for this third floor so first floor really good second and third floor apartment at being an apartment is okay i just wish it was more of a toy store as it continued up but okay someone's got to live in this toy store let's look at the rooftop the rooftop is actually pretty simple as far as build goes it's secure in there and it's so deep there's nothing here do you have a little bit of a skyline there which is nice there really is nothing much more to this you can turn this into something else. You can maybe turn this into another floor. Add more things to it. I just to show you guys real quick the combination of the second and third floor together. I guess like this, it looks kind of nice. It does have more of a modern feel. You can kind of see yourself going up to the second floor there. It's almost like a loft style. I'll give them that when it's together. It looks all right. Okay, it's gonna be minifigures time. We'll start with the ladies first. Nice outfit, nice bag. She needs to go buy some dolls. And in case you don't know, there is a little bit of printing on the back as well. This girl has pretty much been in every set. I think she has overalls. Printing is fine on these guys. It's just whether or not you want to use them. This is her backside. One thing I do notice though, that these rubber pieces for the hair, they come off really easy. They've all popped off on me when I stored them away. So yeah. So now we're looking at the guys. This guy in yellow. He's got like a sweater style thing going on. Looks pretty normal to me. Backside also has a little bit of printing. Don't forget, these dolls can bow. Bow to me. Oh. <sighs> I'm not gonna say it. You got this guy with $100. Kinda looks just like the other guy. Just different outfits. Country boy. We're gonna buy some race cars. He does have a little bit of printing there on the back of his shirt. There he goes. This guy is all suited up. Maybe he's a store owner. I don't know. His beard looks a little bit off. Yeah, it's kind of a weird way to do a beard on the figure. But anyway, there is minimal printing on the backside of him. Okay, boss, time to go run your store. This guy's taking out the trash. And they kind of look anime looking, right? Like more cartoon style. You know, they're just trying to avoid copyright with figures, right? There you go. You want to avoid copyright? This is what you get. Printing is fine to me, but you know, you guys are going to use your own figures for sure. Not much of a printing on the back there. Anyway, continue taking out the trash. Finally, you got this boy in blue, all suited up as well. Why is everyone so nice going to the toy store? 
Should I be dressing up more when I do these videos? As I said before, printing is fine. Minimal printing on the back of this guy. It's just, you know, I'm not sure if you like these guys or not. For me personally, you know, I just throw these guys in a bag and put them aside. All right, so let's do dimensions real fast so we can move on to the next video. So you know these are all on a 16 by 32 plate there. You know that already. So let's check the height. This one is a little bit shorter. So break out, don't drop. So break out your one by four bricks, which I have right here. And this building right here is about 31 bricks in height right there. Yeah, oh, slightly over. Oh, well, actually, you know, it's, it's, it's about right there. What about this this side? This side. A little bit over here. Add a couple more bricks, like so. It becomes around a 35 of bricks in height. Measure this for your city. Now it's time to drop this guy. You know, I was thinking about dropping these two at the same time, but one's gonna topple over. So we'll do it one by one. Move this over here. Ready for this? Anything gonna fall off? Probably not. Make sure it doesn't. Here you go. Five, four, three, two, one. Oh, just a little flower. Rooftop kind of slid off. Nothing there. Couple of the objects on the inside got loose, like the closet there. The fish that we found earlier. That's it. I'm pretty happy with that. So what about this one? Nothing gonna fall off except for maybe the stereo, which I forgot to show you guys, a little accessory. We'll put it on the table anyway, on the second floor in the apartment there. That's gonna probably just jiggle around in there. All right, here we go. Five, four, three, two, one. Oh, you see that? Oh, this thing jiggled. Anything come off? Nope. Nope. Oh, a chair did come loose. The stereo. Chair. Hey. This one. Anything? Dust. So that's one thing that's good about this. Yay! So there you guys go. Sing Bao's Europa Toy Shop. You know, I like the interior on this one, but the bottom floor better than this side. But hey, you got options here. Tons of options. You can play around with the thing, mock it around, have fun with it. It's not that bad. It's kind of a mixed feeling about this one. I kind of like it. I kind of don't like it. When I review it for you guys, I like it again. Maybe later. I won't like it. Who knows? So anyway, this and all the other ones are available on my store at bringmeupscotty.com. Oh, I just hurt myself like that. Buy all of them if you want to. Buy none of them if you want to. Buy from other places if you want to. Thank you though for supporting me on this channel and liking, commenting. Don't forget to subscribe. Until next time, you guys. Pick me out. Yeah, if, if I look exhausted, I pretty much am, you know, trying to take care of the kids, trying to take care of the office here, the online store, take care of the family, and, you know, my nose, my cheeks might look a little beaten up because my one-year-old daughter loves to grab me with her sharp fingernails, and, you know, I get beaten up every day. It's okay, though. I'm here. I'm at peace with you guys. My exercise for the day. One. Want to see me do a handstand? Sure! No, no hands! Oh my goodness, that's so scary! Please, don't do that here! I wonder if I can join these guys together. Let's make this super high. Everything flat should fit, right? Look at that. Oh yeah, baby! That's kind of crazy. Switch out the rooftop here. Too. 
Have you ever seen a model that's so tall? Actually looks pretty okay like this. Combine like that. Look at that. What a terrible design. The door right there, you're just gonna fall down and hurt yourself. If you haven't done it yet, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. It helps us. Yeah! Scotty will do more videos for you, right Scotty? Maybe.